Good day, everyone. Miss Lorraine here. Welcome to La Escuelita de Español. As you may know, we are currently learning a lot of vocabulary for la casa, the house. In our last episode, we looked at la sala, which, as you remember, means the living room. Another important room in the house is la cocina. La cocina is the Spanish word for kitchen. In order to learn the vocabulary for kitchen objects faster and meaningfully, you can go to your kitchen and locate the items that appear in the picture. Then try saying the name of each object in Spanish. Repitan conmigo. Nevera. Nevera. Nevera means fridge or refrigerator. We also use refrigerador or congeladora, but the most common word is nevera. Microondas. Microondas. Microondas means microwave. Tostadora. Tostadora which as you can see, means toaster. Licuadora, licuadora. For those great shakes, we use licuadora, which means blender. Olla, olla. An olla is a pot, olla. Estufa, estufa, which means stove, estufa. Horno, horno. Horno means oven, horno. Sartén. Sartén. Un sartén means a pan. Fregadero. Fregadero. Your fregadero is your sink, your kitchen sink. Now let's look at taza. Taza, which means mug. Specifically, the mugs that you use for coffee or tea. Taza. Platos. Platos. Platos are your plates. Say platos. Gabinete. Gabinete. That should have a G sound. Gabinete. Gabinete are your cabinet. Cabinets, gabinetes. Buen trabajo, chicos. Now, let's look at some other kitchen objects, including utensils that weren't in the picture. And just as before, head to your cocina to check out los utensilios, the utensils, and then say the names of these utensilios in Spanish. Repitan conmigo. La cafetera. La cafetera. A cafetera is a coffee maker. Say, cafetera. Let's look at some utensils. So, in la cocina, we could also have cucharón. Cucharón. Which means ladle or a cuchara, cuchara, which means spoon, cuchara. If you have a fork, then you call that tenedor, tenedor. And for knife, you say cuchillo, 
cuchillo. Let's repeat those. Cucharón, cuchara, tenedor, cuchillo. We could also have la espátula. La espátula, which means the spatula. Sounds the same, right? La espátula. El vaso. El vaso. Remember, there is no V sound in Spanish, only V sound. So we say el vaso, which means the cup. We also have el colador, colador. Now, in Spanish, we could use el colador to refer to a colander or a strainer. El colador. Awesome work, guys. Muy buen trabajo. This is all I have for you as it relates to la cocina, which means the kitchen. I encourage you to practice today's vocabulary every time you visit the kitchen, la cocina, and do look out for our next episode where we'll be learning about yet another section of la casa. Until then, soy Lorraine saying hasta luego.